Good evening. It's time for SJ News. Your news team today is with Janessa and Sam. Today is, is November 6, 1822. Today's top stories are Louisiana Purchase, Madbury versus Madison, and the Lewis and Clark Expedition, and a special discussion with Alexander Hamilton. Don't miss our interview with Tom Thomas Jefferson and a word from our sponsor. Good evening, President Jefferson. Thank you for meeting with me. Do you have anything you'd like to say? Yes, I believe that every citizen could work to better the society. Well, Mr. Jefferson, I know you accomplished a lot, but do you have five things you can tell me about your accomplishments? Of course. First, I was the author of the Declaration of American Independence. Also, I was the author of the Virginia Statue for Religious Freedom. I'm the father of the University of Virginia. Not to brag or anything, but I'm the governor of Virginia, a lawyer, a revolutionary leader, a writer, a philosopher, an inventor, an architect, a plant scientist, a book collector, a musician, astronomer, ambassador, Secretary of State, and of course, the President of the United States. Now a quick word from our sponsors. Honey, it's time for dinner and we're out of flour. Wrong door. <sighs> Come buy the amazing flour. We all need it, so why not buy it? Our company, Barrel Flour, has been trusted for years. We enjoy serving the people of the United States. This offer is for $200 only. That's a discount for everyone. So come by and buy our flour. See you soon. Hello, I'm Janessa Smith, and today I will be giving you information about the Louisiana Purchase. As the 1800s began, the United States expanding, expanded steadily westward. Then more lands were opened and settlers moved in to distract them. Americans were also considered about the vast lands that lay further west. Explorers then organized expeditions to find out more about those lands. In 1801, Spain signed a secret treaty with France to return to the Louisiana Territory to France. Reports of Retrocession caused considerable uneasiness in the United States. Back in the 1700s, um, Americans had been moving westward in the Ohio River area towards Tennessee. France was slow in taking control of Louisiana, but in 1802, Spanish authorities apparently acting below French circumstances convoked a versus Spanish treaty which granted the Americans the right to store good in New Orleans. Hello, my name is Sam and I will be telling you about the Lewis and Clark expedition. This expedition took place in 1803. The president asked Congress to fund an expedition to explore the Louisiana Purchase including the West. Congress and the president chose the former army captain Meriwether Lewis. Lewis then chose his friend, Lieutenant William Clark, to be the co-leader in the expedition. To prepare for the journey, Lewis spent weeks studying with experts. Lewis studied plants, surveying, and other subjects. With the information Lewis got, the men were able to take notes about their locations. On May 1804, the men would actually set out on their journey. Their plan was to travel up the Missouri River to, a to the village in St. Charles, where they met this point, they were not able to receive letters, get fresh supplies, or reinforcements. Along the way, they were able to meet a Shoshan woman by the name of Sacagawea. She helped them cross the Rocky Mountains in the, in the Columbia River. This is an amazing expedition of Lewis and Clark. all night for our interview with Alexander Hamilton. Excellent. So let's get to it. Hello, and thank you for joining us. Anytime, thank you for having me. 
Is it true that you developed a three-point plan to solve the nation's financial problems? Yes, that is true. <coughs> it is split into three sections. One is for domestic debt, state debt, and foreign debt. That's great. So do you want to pay off debt immediately? Yes, I want to pay the foreign debt immediately and gradually repay the total value of all bonds. Huh. Last question for tonight. What was your biggest challenge so far? That's a great question. My biggest challenge was paying off the national debt, which is money owned by the United States from the Revolutionary War. Thank you for joining us, Hamilton. Now a brief word from our sponsor. Do you need soap? Yeah, you do. So why not buy with our certified company, Clean Hygiene? We have been trusted by thousands of American families. Buy our soap for only $150. It's guaranteed to make you smell clean and fresh all day, every day. Come by and buy our soap. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> during Jefferson's presidency began practicing laws of Virginia draft the first version of the Declaration of Independence appointed Secretary of State by George Washington inaugurated as president retires to Monterello <laughs> It will become the largest kernel of the Library of Congress, now the largest library in the world. One more time, just in case you didn't hear it. Jefferson, struggling under his increasing debt, sells a 6,000 volume library to Congress for $24,000. It will become the kernel for the Library of Congress, now the largest library in the world. On a sad note. On a sad note. On April 17, 1804, daughter Mary dies in childbirth. Mary Jefferson Epps, Jefferson's second daughter, dies while giving birth to her child, her third child. On hearing the news, Jefferson falls into deep, deep depression. Right, in other news, on January 15, 1819, the charter for UVA, the Virginia legislator, Charters the University of Virginia. Jefferson convinces the state to locate it to Charlottesville. Within walking distance of Monticello. Fun fact, on a clear day, Jefferson, Jefferson can see the campus from his home. Hi, I'm Sam. Hi, I'm Janessa. Today we will be discussing the issue of Madbury versus Madison. Even though Republicans took over the presidency, and also Congress, Federalists controlled the federal judiciary. Mm -hmm. Trying to make their control still valid, the Judiciary Federalist legislators confirmed the Judiciary Act of 1801. Thank you for joining us! Thank you for joining us!